God bless you, you beautiful people out there on YouTube and Facebook. My name is Pastor Charles Diggins. Hey, listen, I want to give you a good uh, drive-by word this morning. What's a drive-by word? You can get it and go. My God, I know you have to get to them jobs this morning. You have to go take care of your business this morning. Got to face some devils this morning. Come on, talk about it. My God, but I'm ready for them this morning. I got my whole armor on. I'm ready and dressed for this fight and this war. My God, this is not no time for you to sleep in slumber. The disciples was told by Jesus, could you just pray for an hour? I'm up, Jesus. My God, I don't know about you. I'm looking around. I'm watching. I'm seeing what God have for me. My God, I'm trying to get a soul to come to Jesus Christ. That's my whole purpose. That's my whole duty. Well, listen, a lot of people have been asking me about getting baptized, and I really have did a study on this for the last three or four weeks, and there's so much meat and potatoes in there, and I'm telling you, we have to be so careful about that little repentance prayer that we do, and the people walk up there and join the church or whatever they do and want to change their life, and we walk them up there to the pulpit, uh, and, and, and then they march them back down have somebody pray on them, they go back to their seat, get back in their car, go home and keep on doing the same thing they used to do. That's not what the repentance prayer is. The back repentance prayer need to go deeper than that, which I haven't found no repentance prayer in the Bible. Uh, but I want to read this. It come out of Acts chapter 2, verse 38. This is what Peter is telling the people. He says this in the reading. When Peter said unto them, repent, and be baptized, every one of you, I mean you, every one of you, in the name of Jesus, for the remission of sin, your sin, and ye shall receive, now here you go, the gift of the Holy Spirit. And a lot of people say, well, Pastor, how, how do people that I know that got baptized, um, they still in the world, they still doing the worldly stuff because that, that they didn't mean it out of their heart. They just did something because either their friends did it or their mama told them they need to do it. And, and even baptizing infants, that is not in the Bible also. So we're doing that just um, as just making the baby feel like it's more say. No, that baby need to grow up where he can understand what he's getting into and then be baptized is of the change in his life from the center, sin, sinful nature to be submerged. That's what baptizing means to be submerged underwater, going down as a, as a dry center, coming up as a wet, new believing, newborn uh, creature uh, to, to seek God's work, Jesus Christ himself. That's what baptizing uh or baptism, baptizing, well, that's, uh, that's what that it means, and that's why it's so important for us to get baptized. I'm going to be running a baptized service. I haven't got a date yet, uh, but if you want to be baptized, everybody know how to reach me. Uh, uh, some kind of way you can get me if you really want to get baptized. Um, I won't give no dates or no number out right now until I get a date. Um, it says no need in me giving no number out or nothing where you can reach me because I haven't set a date yet. But I will be setting a date where you can really get baptized, where you can see the, the gifts of getting baptized. And it said the gifts of the Holy Ghost, which would be wisdom, understanding, counsel, uh, uh, fortitude. That's a good one because that's courage in pain or, uh, or adversity. That's you need that knowledge piety and fear that's where we, we fortitude is really a gift that you need because that's where when things happen you're strong enough to deal with them uh, right in the midst of a crisis and we have a lot of that in our lives being Christians seeing loved ones pass away and uh, all the other stuff that's going on well God bless you all just give you a little quick drive-by word uh, that we need to be baptized each and every one of us and uh, that brings out the gifts that God want to give us by you uh, uh, repenting and telling God out of your heart and your mind. That's what it means. It's uh, so personal. That's why baptism is so important that you be personal with God. Well, I love you out there. You guys be blessed. Have a good day. And I'll see you on top.